North Korea's leader Kim Jong Un seems to rely heavily on members of his family when it comes to running the country. Although he had long internship under his father Kim Jong Il, who was able to build a reliable network in government, the armed forces, and the Korean Workers' Party, the word is that Kim Jong Un banks on two people whom he is believed to trust implicitly. One of them is his younger sister Kim Yo Jong. The other is his older brother. Kim Jong Chul. We'll play out uh, those pictures. Uh, Kim Yo Jong is an enigma, but is believed close to the leader, as they both attended the same school in Switzerland. She is rarely seen in public, yet is a fixture at major public events where she is usually in the background. Her responsibilities apparently extend to protocol during such events, where she personally briefs her brother. In that sense, she is also involved in her. Personal security, his personal security arrangements, rather, she's believed to head the propaganda department in North Korea. That job requires her to shape public perceptions of her brother. She's also responsible for building her brother's personality cult. Kim Jong Chul is the middle brother, but was passed over for president by father Kim Jong Il because he felt that the boy was too effeminate and had the heart of a girl. Curious because other reports say that Kim Jong Chul ordered the arrest and execution of his own uncle on suspicion that he was planning a coup. Little else is known about him, but he is known to enjoy a playboy lifestyle. He is also known to travel abroad to attend Eric Clapton's concert. Western reports say that could be his Achilles' heel. Rock concerts are considered decadent and Western in North Korea. Three others also hold important positions in Kim Jong Un's cabal. They are not family members, but come from the armed forces and are considered key to North Korea's missile development program. Ri Pyong Chol is often described by Western media as the big potato, meaning that he's been around since Kim Jong Il's time and knows the presidential family intimately. He was the Air Force chief at one point. He even headed the sensitive Pyongyang Air Command, which monitors the country's airspace. He's the recipient of the Order of Kim Il Sung, one of the highest awards in the North Korean state. Two others who follow closely behind are Kim Jong Sik and Jung Chang Ha. Let's talk about Kim Jong Sik first, who's considered the brains behind North Korea's rapidly advancing ballistic missile program. He began as a civilian aeronautics engineer. But by dint of hard work and constant innovation, pulled off the first successful rocket test in 2012. The West believes Jong Sik is well on the way to developing the North's intercontinental ballistic missile if he hasn't done so already. With that in place, North Korea would be able to threaten the U.S. and Europe. Jang Chang Ha makes up the third in this triumvirate, this close triumvirate. Uh, that advises the president of North Korea. He is president of the Academy of National Defense Science, which is involved in the development of advanced weapon systems, including probably nuclear weapons. It is believed that he is also involved in procuring components and systems for these weapons programs from overseas—a task made difficult by the web of international sanctions in force. Even so, they appear to be succeeding. The North's secretive weapons development began in the early 2000s. While that generation is gone, their place has been taken by these people considered close to Kim Jong Un. The supreme leader, as he's called, interacts directly with them, ensuring a high level of control and supervision over the pace and direction of the missile and other weapons programs.